The story held from a residential interior project located in Boca Grande, Florida entitled Boca Beach, completed by Abbey Hetherington Interiors. This Boca Grande residence stands on a stunning location on dunes overlooking the water. The client, owners who roamed the world, collecting years of memories and mementos along the way, Hap and Sue Brickley. For their home, Sue have her own taste, she wanted dark and romantic, feel well-traveled, with history and character. Reflecting on their favorite places, they was gravitated toward the moody ambience they encountered in old Anglo-Indian homes, known for warm wood tones and ornate decoration. These rich interiors seemed like a sanctuary, with spaces that felt warm, comfortable and cozy. Wanting to incorporate this visual depth into the home, Abbey's collaborated with architect Holly Mumford, now at Bright Architecture, who fortified the interiors with richly stained walnut floors, columns, and beams. These additions infuse grandeur into spaces such as the main bedroom, home to a vintage Italian four-poster bed. Mumford introduced heavy-set beams to emphasize the room's new pitched roof. Hap's favorites, the opulent walnut bar, reminiscent of watering holes the couple enjoyed abroad. Other intricate moments include hand-carved Moroccan doors, which brought artistry to the most ordinary corners of the home, from the kitchen cabinets to the powder room door featuring mother-of-pearl inlay. The structure's plethora of warm wood detailing creates a sense of intimacy, especially in the newly expanded living area, where the team remodeled the screen porch to form a formal dining space connecting the living area and the kitchen. The open layout never feels too vast or vacant, as Abbey's carved out welcoming nooks with sumptuous furnishings. These pieces mix the new and familiar, like modern light fixtures with traditional seating and family heirlooms from the client's home in Massachusetts. Between lively parties and visits from the Brickley's extended family, people are drawn together around the marble dining table or in the jewel-toned living area, filled with silk, velvet, and leather upholstery and treasures from the couple's travels. The revamped outdoor space, which the couple wanted to connect to the second floor living area. Then the designer create a multi-tiered deck that corrals movement indoors and outdoors, offering gathering zones along the way. There's the lovingly dubbed Tahiti room under a pergola with curved seating around a fire pit. Then there's the sunbathing deck, with four chaise lounges made for Sue and her three daughters in mind. Grandchildren can convene along the steps to watch Hap jump off the third-story balcony into the new 10-foot deep pool. The entire space is nestled in an oasis of palms and tropical flowering plants like crinum lily, hibiscus and dwarf bird of paradise that really helps create the Caribbean estate look. 